Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Arrhythmia Cyber Chat. Uh, like I say every Friday, you could have been anywhere else that you chose to be here uh, to share knowledge and also to learn and develop yourselves. And I appreciate your time and your effort. And we are going to make sure uh, you are going to get the best uh, for the time that you are spending with us here. So please, uh, we still have folks coming in. So please hold tight. We'll begin shortly. All right, so uh, tonight we are going to be going through uh, how to create a cybersecurity resume and not just uh, create any cybersecurity resume, but one that is going to uh, land you your favorite or your uh, dream cybersecurity job uh, in six figures plus, right? So we are going to do everything from scratch. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, take notes. It's going to be fun. And for all questions that might come up, we also try to address all of it. So we still have folks joining, but we are going to begin uh, like usual with our presentation. And then we, are, we will switch from the presentation mode, go straight into the doing part of it. So if there are any questions uh, before we move on, please, you can raise your virtual hand and we address it as we are moving forward. So. Today's presentation or today's cyber chat, the discussion uh, is how to create a cybersecurity resume using AI. So before we jump into using AI, we are going to do it manually, uh, go through and see how it's really done manually. Because even if you use AI, you still have to polish it up and make sure uh, all the rough edges uh, are good to go, right? Uh, for you to have an effective cybersecurity resume. So we are going to jump in and begin. Welcome to Arrhythmus Academy. If you are new to the family uh, at Arrhythmus Academy, we train cybersecurity professionals, uh, aspiring cybersecurity professionals and professionals who are already in the industry. A little background about myself. I'm Dr. Emmanuel Ledoux. I'll be the facilitator for this cyber chat tonight. Like always, I'm a former United States Army captain. Uh, I'm the CEO of Arrhythmus Inc., a QSA company, a cybersecurity consulting firm based in New York and also the founder of Arrhythmus Academy. And I'm a former professor at University of Maryland Global Campus and CTC. So that is a little bit about myself. So like usual, we are going to begin with cyber news for the week. And then we will jump into the creation of cybersecurity resume, uh, looking at some of the key areas and you know how to, what a good template even looks like. And we are also going to be looking at uh, a template for uh, cybersecurity cover letters as well. So let's begin with uh, cybersecurity notes. But before we do, uh, if you are looking to get into cybersecurity or you're already in the industry uh, and you are looking for like a follow-up training uh, and all that, if you are looking to get into it, this is our career path. Uh, at arrhythmusacademy.com, we have a free course that can get you started, give you some situational awareness about cybersecurity, and then you can jump into our cybersecurity entry level course, which you know gives you a very good working knowledge in cybersecurity uh, in terms of knowledge, and then also skills portion, we walk you through how to use some of the popular cybersecurity tools, and then you have two months of internship attached to that, and then we do job placement assistance, similar to so job placement assistant for our students uh, is similar to what we're going to be doing, and then we even you know uh, do more by doing one on one uh, for every interview that you are going to go to, right? For folks who want to branch into PCI DSS, uh, we also have a training on that. We have PCI DSS for beginners to give you some situational awareness. And then also we have PCI DSS specialist and PCI DSS expert. Right? And all information about all that you can get on our website. So we are starting uh, straight with the cyber news. So uh, Tampa General Hospital uh, got hit with ransomware. Right, uh, they got hit with an attack. I suspect was ransomware. They didn't really uh, go deep into the details of it, but uh, I think 
they discovered the unauthorized access into their network around 31st of May. And uh, apparently they said they, uh, they had some measures in place so they were able to uh, minimize the effect, but it was a, a really huge attack, right? So this is, I think they just announced it, right, in the news. Probably they were trying to handle it uh, at their level, but, you know, now for such attacks, depending on the magnitude, there, there is a legal obligation for the company to report this uh, to their uh, law enforcement and also to let their customers know this is what happened. So that is why you see these in the news and the companies that are victims, they have to come and explain and you know talk more about it, right? So this was in the news, Tampa Hospital. Uh, unfortunately, they were a victim you know, to cyber attack, like we always say, and it was a ransom attack. Uh, mostly, uh, if it is not a ransom attack, I don't know what attackers are gonna get out of this. If they, they were hitting the company with like a DDoS attack, you don't get anything out of that. So mostly they do this, but the motivation behind it is money. Oh, uh, is there any issues with sound? I think uh, Patrick, is it breaking up? Okay. Yes. You're here, I mean, I can hear you. Okay. Breaking up. Oh, okay. So uh, please bear with me. I think uh, I'm dislocated, not, uh, at my usual uh, location, so there might be some issues with the audio. All right, so uh, please bear with me. Let's continue. So also in the news, big one. Uh, anybody knows this guy? Maybe some folks have seen him being posted all over the place. Uh, I think this guy went to jail pretty when he was pretty young. Uh, oh, still issues with the count. Okay. So he went to jail when he was, I think in his uh, early twenties for cyber attack, right? He was hacking for uh, for fun and then it turned into for bad reasons. And he became very famous uh, after coming back from jail, he decided to do good. Uh, so he's one of the very famous hackers, uh, celebrated hackers. He's called uh, David Mintnik, right? He passed away this week uh, at the age of, I think 59 there about uh, so the whole cyber security community are paying tribute to him uh, this week so that is why we added uh, this to and this is also cyber news so now uh, we are done with cyber news let's jump into cyber security resumes so we are going to start by looking at templates uh, what a good template looks like and then we are going to make our own and uh, I'll show you some strategies that you can use to create the perfect cybersecurity resume. So let's begin. Uh, we are going to look at some templates. Uh, let me bring my templates up. So the first template that we are going to look at is, is a cybersecurity uh, resume template. But this template uh, is what we will call a leadership managerial template. So this template focuses on, is heavy, let's say almost 60% on leadership and managerial skills, right? And then the 40% is on cybersecurity skills. So with this template, what we do is we use this to apply for cybersecurity manager, cyber, so all those job titles, any managerial job title, uh, this is the template that we use. Now, this is a good cybersecurity template, your name, cybersecurity professional. Uh, you don't have to put the job title that you're applying uh, to here, uh, because even if you are tailoring it, just uh, leave cybersecurity. Let, let, let just let it be cybersecurity professional, right? And then your name, address, you can put your LinkedIn also here as well, right? You can put your LinkedIn here as well. And then your summary, uh, you don't necessarily have to give it a title summary. It can just be your summary on here. And we are going to walk through how to come up with uh, the summary write up and everything. Uh, so 
Now you move into skills, uh, your skills you are going to list. So as you can see with this, exceptional leadership skills, uh, good interpersonal skills, uh, collaborative, uh, team player skills, and the rest, right? And then we will throw in there some uh, cyber security technical skills also as well. But mostly skills on here should be heavy on, I think my audio is still going in and out, but please bear with me, uh, should go with. So you can mix them up or you can make it just soft skills first and then technical uh, on the bottom or either or technical first and then soft skills at the bottom, right? And then you go into the work history, right? So uh, you can write like whatever your job title was and then the company and you list what you did uh, in there in the form of bullets, right? And you know, you are not limited to how many you can do for these. And then you go all the way down to leadership history, right? You can add that also on here. So what I said was this was leadership heavy. So your leadership skills, you can highlight just your soft skills on the leadership side on here. And then you do education also down here and then your certifications, right? Now there's an optional area here, which you don't necessarily have to add to, but if you want, you can add to it, right? So years of experience, work authorization, proficiency in programming language and the rest. Now you don't really need this, so it's optional, right? And this resume is almost five pages. Your resume shouldn't be five pages. This is for demonstration purposes. You can cut down a lot of these uh, off, right? So this is, uh, although it's a good template, but when you get this, you just have to take a lot of stuff out. At least your resume should be, at least keep it to two pages, two pages, not longer than that, right? So this is one template. Uh, we are going to look at other templates. Their the, the, the format uh, kind of looks the same. They should be uh, almost the same, right? If you follow the same pattern now, with the design and everything, you can change, you know, and have it uh, your own way, but you can switch it up in terms of uh, the, 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 how it looks, but the content should follow the same pattern. Now, this is also another one, right? You can see the design and the look is a bit different, uh, but then the, the, like the content remains the same. Name, address, and everything on here. Your summary right here, or professional objectives or goals have been listed here. And then skills, you know, like the format can change. Work history, go all the way down. You have your education and certificates and certifications, right? Now the optional portion where you put work experience and all that is not here, right? So with the one that we looked at at the optional side, uh, if you're applying to a government job and you have security clearance, you can put that on there as well, right? So this is also a very a good template. Uh, this is, I think this was like a PCI template, uh, but as you can see, like the formats, is the same and all these are uh, what we call hybrid or is a combination of both uh, functional and chronological uh, types of resume. So it's good. I mean, if you are starting off, you can use this. If you're already in the industry, you can still use this. Okay. Now there's a lot for us to cover. So let's continue. All right, uh, Bobby. Yes, uh, breaking up. I know I'm I'm breaking up a little here and there, uh, but please bear with me. All right. So, uh, what we are going to do also to look at a template of a cover letter, and then we will jump into the actual making of the prism. All right, so for cover letters, they should also follow this format, right? So your name, uh, title, information security professional, or cyber security professional, your address, 
and phone number and email and then uh, date. Then you can put a reference for the job and the date it was posted on here. And then dear sir or madam, if you know the hiring manager directly, you can put your name there. If not, you can also make it to whom it may concern as well. And then you, you are going to use this format, right? So So your uh, cover letter is another avenue that you can use to sell yourself, right? So don't make it too generic. Uh, make sure it counts, right? The space you are using here counts. So you are going to speak to the skills and knowledge you are bringing to the table, right? So uh, if let's say we give you this template, don't just use what is on here without actually personalizing it right because everything that you have to put on your resume uh, if you wouldn't be able to put everything on the two pages so this is another avenue for you to uh, add more stuff to make you look good so uh, you make it simple also straight to the point uh, don't make sure you are not adding flat too much fluff or you shouldn't even add fluff in the first place right uh, and then you are going to sign sincerely you say put your name there and then you sign so this is a good template for cover letter also as well that we are going to now jump into creating our cyber security templates or our cyber security resume actually uh, and then we'll look at how to also use ai to help us do this So this is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to create our resume uh, backwards, if I want to say it that way, right? So let's say we don't know, we don't have any templates. Uh, we are not lucky to get template from anybody. We want to create, but we still want to create a resume that is going to be very powerful, right? And uh, where do we get the bullets? And where do we know how to, like what to put on there or which bullets are going to count, right? So this is what we have to do. Uh, for, depending on which side of cybersecurity you want to work uh, at, right? On the blue side or the red side, uh, for us, everything we are going to do is going to be tailored towards the, the blue side, right? So uh, if you want to go the pen testing side, you can still use the same processes and the same tips and procedures that we are going to be going through. Uh, but what we are doing is going to focus uh, predominantly on the blue side. Now, uh, even on the blue side, you can be more specific. Are you looking for a cyber security analyst job? Are you looking for information security analyst job? Most of these jobs, uh, what you are going to do in those job titles, they are kind of uh, almost similar things is uh, what you are going to be doing. So uh, we can create one resume that we will just have to tailor a little bit, you know, uh, as we are going through the job search processes uh, and it's not going to be too far from what we've made. So we are going to look at how to create one from scratch. So without any templates, uh, without, let's say pretty much not even knowing what we are doing, but we want to create a cyber security uh, resume and we don't even have any experience creating resumes. So where do we, where do we start, right? We start by going to Google, and by typing in cybersecurity jobs without any specific job title, right? This is the results that you're gonna get. And guess what? We're not gonna start with cybersecurity manager, right? So if you are starting off uh, from scratch, uh, obviously you are not gonna jump into the industry as a security manager. So let's go for something. I think uh, MTA's job posting here, we can, we'll be able to get something out of this. So let's select this one. Uh, so, Cyber security analyst level one to seven. Uh, within MTA, they have their own levels, security analyst levels. So one to seven. Uh, for folks starting off, maybe probably one to three, uh, one to four will be okay. Seven is more managerial. A six, five going up is uh, more managerial, right? So uh, let's say this is like, this is one of the job postings that we've seen. And actually this is one. 
right? Uh, these are the qualifications. These are the responsibilities. So what you are going to be doing is this, right? So how do we create a resume from this? And we are not just going to create from only this one. Uh, we are going to combine at least four to five job postings. Uh, and we are going to pick and choose from these job postings to come up with the bullets, right? Uh, that we are going to be using. And also to be able to guesstimate or have a fair idea of what employers are looking for. That way, when we are done and we are applying for the jobs, we can easily apply to this job and we are we are sure we are going to get a hit. Right? So let's begin. All right, so now with this, uh, let's go through the qualifications real quick. Uh, they need you to have an understanding of uh, operating systems and configuration hardening, uh, understanding of security concepts or uh, technical domain, uh, and the list goes on. So progressive, uh, I, I think I went through this already, so I'm just going to uh, just skip through some of it. Now, let's look at the responsibilities as well. So responsibilities, uh, as a security engineer, you'll be responsible for designing, uh, developing, and maintaining infrastructure application technology to support secure uh, security, to support secure uh, cybersecurity posture, right? And uh, these include systems, these include systems that support cybersecurity directly or uh, business operations for information and technology uh, disciplines. And then the list goes on. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a tight one, but we are still going to uh, get something out of this, and then we will use other ones. But before we move forward, please give me five minutes, and I'm going to fix some technical issues real quick, and we will continue. So please hold on. Recording. Uh, thank you on that. Right. So. Uh, in order for you to be able to identify or get the right wording, uh, that is why we are doing this, right? Because if you are just writing from what you know and what you think you can do, you can write it all right. But so let's say if I was writing this, right, I'm good with operating system and configuration handling. Maybe probably I'll say um, maybe I'm skilled in. Uh, Jimmy Cole is requesting to record this meeting locally. So that is going to be denied. So uh, if I was going to write this, uh, I was going to put it, maybe I'm probably, I'm skilled in uh, maybe Windows operating system and some other operating system. And also maybe for this word and configuration happening, I was going to put, uh, maybe I'm, I'm good in defense in depth strategies, right? If I'm applying to this job, that wouldn't be a keyword. Although it's, they mean almost the same thing, but I'm not gonna get a hit, right? So with this, uh, what we are going to do with this is, is going to be for your bullets, this is gonna be skilled in, uh, so if I open a Word document, it's really not gonna show on here, I would have opened one, but we are going to talk through, and then when we're done, we will probably use AI to do this, and you see uh, an, an easier way of doing it. But for this, I was, I'm going to write uh, skilled in operating uh, skilled in operating systems like or skilled in operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and the rest. Uh, and then I also have another bullet: uh, perform a configuration hardening, uh, maybe duties or configuration hardening uh, on these number of systems or these uh, operating systems, right? So the idea here is we are using the right technologies and the keywords. So that will be this I will use in my bullet. So the second one, understand uh, understanding of security concepts for technical domain, right? So what does this even mean? Understanding security concepts. What are some of the security concepts, right? Now with this, you don't even have to answer this first. When we come to what you are going to be doing, we will be able to identify some of the security concepts, right? Configuration hardening is one security concept. Uh, it's, a, it's a series of things that you do, right, to be able to get configuration hardening. Now, uh, let me also pick one probably from here. Uh, so configuration, uh, the configuration hardening guidance, the other uh, containment of 
security risks. So all these are also concepts. Uh, reduction and uh, containment of security risks. They are also concepts that we follow to reduce risks. Uh, some other, what else is on here? Uh, security directly, business operations, okay. Uh, so at least we found two, right? So we don't have to uh, reinvent the wheels for this. So if we want to write anything about uh, security concepts, we are probably going to throw some of these also in there, right? Now, uh, requires, so with this, uh, if you want to just use the, these uh, wording, we are going to write, uh, so you either, you, you either develop, you performed, uh, you did something, right? Everything that you're going to write for bullets, it should be something you did, not just I'm um, skilled in maybe uh, configuration hardening. That you are just skilled in it, right? What did you really do uh, that bothered on configuration hardening, right? Maybe perform configuration hardening uh, on five Windows uh, endpoints, uh, 25 uh, Linux servers. Right, something like that. And we should also try to quantify whatever we are going to put on there. Right, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, uh, let's pick one also here. Okay, so proving ability to analyze a security risk assessment or conduct one with guidance. So this, uh, they need you to have the skills and the abilities to perform risk assessments, right? So what you are going to, how you are going to turn this around for your bullets is going to be you either performed, uh, you supervised. If you are lo you, uh, looking for like managerial uh, positions, so perform uh, security risk assessments for maybe one of our clients or uh, for your company, right? And like what else came out of that, right? Perform maybe annual security uh, assessments using quantitative. Uh, assessment method, you know, something on those lines, right? So like that is what I was saying, at least to be able to do a resume, you should come with some technical knowledge, right? At least some technical knowledge. You cannot be totally zero uh, and be able to even understand this to come up with something on these lines. Right? Now, uh, progressive cybersecurity related accomplishments. Uh, so with these, uh, this is kind of subjective and very open. So you can add anything to that. Uh, but, but, but let's go down to currently, okay, current and updated security certifications. So these are just certifications. Now, when it comes to what you are really going to do, uh, I think we, we kind of touched on one or two. So for this job description, what you are going to do uh, is not, they didn't really list much. So how you are going to pick Mostly what you are going to do shouldn't be uh, very different from what you are looking for in terms of qualifications, right? So if this is not much, you should look here uh, for more guidance. Okay. So this is one job. Now let's pick some other job on here. Uh, let's do manager, right? So managerial role. Uh, hopefully there is more on this one. So qualifications and responsibilities are what you are going to be doing. Uh, now for this proven experience in information security rigs. Mm, so what you should also uh, consider is this. So mostly what, what, like whatever they put in parentheses, right, is what they are actually looking for. So if, for example, you see, or you should be knowledgeable in different cybersecurity frameworks, example, HIPAA, PCI, uh, SOC, uh, uh, SOC 2 re reports, and the rest, whatever they list is what they are looking for, right? Whatever they put in parentheses is what they exactly they are looking for. So if they say uh, proving experience in security slash information technology, risk management domains, example, network security, infrastructure security, identity and access management, uh, yes, they are looking for, you know, uh, proving experience in these areas. So within your uh, even for your skills that you are going to put on there, you can throw one of these in there as well. So uh, skilled in network security slash or skilled in infrastructure security, 
uh, I am uh, I A M or I am identity and access management. You can also throw you know these also in the skills portion as well. And then for your bullets, I said it should be action. Like your bullets should be something you've done, right? So uh, this will be on the lines of performed A B C D uh, on our uh, security infrastructure. Uh, performed. Uh, anything the lines of identity and access management so implemented multi-factor authentication uh on all or uh, no configured multi-factor authentication on this like on a specific system right so uh those are something some things that you can put on there right based on what they are looking for here right. now let's go down to okay so broad broad knowledge and experience across IT infrastructure with security frameworks and standards such as CMMC, ISO 2701, NIST, and other related standards and regulations. So with this, my focus will be on these three. Now with NIST, they didn't really say which NIST framework, but mostly uh, when you come to responsibilities, you are going to catch a lot of what you missed on this side. So CM, uh, CCPA, so maybe this company kind of is in California. Let me see. No, it's in New York, but maybe they, they have customers in California. That is why they have CC, CCPA also on there. So these are the frameworks that you should, you know, include in your resume as well. So this can be in the skills portion. And then also on the bullets, you can list uh, something you did by implementing one of these. Or even if you didn't do anything on these and you just want to be quiet about it, not necessarily lie or say something that you cannot defend in the bullets, you can add this to the skills, but then you have to make sure you have some working knowledge. At least you know what it is, how it's implemented, right? So you're not going to portray yourself as a as a subject matter expert in CC, a CMCC, a CMMC uh, or HIPAA, or uh, they didn't specify which NIST framework they are referring to, uh, but at least with the popularness uh, framework, RMF, or NIST cybersecurity framework, or 800-53, uh, at least polish up on those, and you can put it in the skills portion, right? So uh, let's move on. Still looking at uh, the qualifications. I want to pick one other. OK, so strong analytic, analytical and logical problem solving skills. This is purely soft skills. So you should uh, craft and talk and say something on the lines of, uh, but here, key words are important, key words. So in your resume, make sure you are using strong analytical, logical problem solving skills, right? So in your, in your skills portion, you can use these, right? And you can use strong analytical uh, skills as well. And then in the write-up, uh, you can write, uh, maybe demonstrate it, strong analytical and logical problem solving skills uh, leading a team of seven to accomplish third party risk management uh, duties right you see how you know that plays in into also showing you uh, demonstrating your uh, your team playing skills and then also your action oriented leader right so now you've just uh, shown that you have some leadership skills managerial skills and still using keywords that you found on here, right? Uh, now, strong interpersonal communication and uh, relational skills, good organizational and project management skills, sound judgment, uh, initiative, flexibility, de or detailed oriented. So all these are almost a summary of most of the soft skills you are going to need. And the next one is a technical one. So strong technical hands-on experience with firewall, routers, SIM, uh, EDR vulnerability. So at least this shows or this, uh, you are able to uh, pick some of the, uh, let's say some of the systems and some of the tools that this company might be using and what they'll be expecting, right? So they want you to have a strong technical hands-on experience with these. So they, although they didn't specify which brand of firewall, at least you should know some one or two firewalls how to set them up routers also they didn't you know mention anything by brand name but at least you should know one or two routers 
uh, sim they didn't mention any specific sim uh, brand name but you should know one edr same thing vulnerability management tools they didn't mention so all these are uh general like general tools without any specific vendors being mentioned or brands being mentioned right so the, you can put these also in your just as they are right here you can put these uh in you can spread them out you know put some in your skills portion and then put some in the write-up right where you can talk about how you configure a firewall and a router uh, to do so mostly when you, even for the writing uh for, uh, for the write-up make sure you also you always bring in some action and results right action and results in there as well now uh with this one full working knowledge of it networking security uh and user device security uh vmware windows os db uh application security so with this you also have some keywords here that you can uh, include in the write-up as well right and then some in the uh in the skills portion as well so if you you pick uh, a lot of stuff on here uh you use it right you pick some from similar jobs so make sure everything that you are doing you are picking from similar jobs so this is a cyber security manager right uh, so if you want to make a manager leadership resume right manager leadership heavy then you should be targeting titles with manager titles with manager or senior uh, security analyst or a senior engineer right and be picking most of the keywords and some of the uh, blocks from here to build yours right? so if you pick maybe five manager uh job posts and you combine whatever they have listed to make your resume right uh, you are going to get a very powerful resume and is you can use that resume to apply it to most almost all manager jobs and you're going to get a hit right because as you are comparing uh so let's see uh, as you are comparing uh or you are picking from these different uh, job posts you see that some of some things some uh, items uh they they will keep showing up in all these uh different job uh, posts because you are going to be doing almost uh, virtually the same uh, or similar things there right uh rain near uh, i'm going to give you the floor here in a minute now this okay. is also a manager uh no senior cyber security specialist right so more of a senior level so you can uh they didn't say manager but you might probably be overseeing uh, other folks right, as well so uh rainy go ahead before we okay my question was so or my statement is you're saying look at at least five titles of these job job descriptions mm -hmm. and just try to pull out um skill sets that you may ha that i may have mm -hmm. from that and i can probably incorporate the the verbiage myself into what they're asking for and put it in there. Is that what you're saying? At least five? Yeah, so you can, uh, if you want your resume to be very powerful, uh, you can go beyond five. Okay. Yes. So you are not limited to how many you can use, but the goal is to get as many keywords and uh, as many uh, terminologies, you know, and the right lingo as possible. Right. So uh, that way, you know, uh, for Perfect. if you apply for five jobs, you are going to get four hits, right? Because most people run into, I'm not getting any hits, nobody's reaching back to me because you just took a template from your friend and you are using it to apply for all these jobs and the lingo in there and the ones in here, your uh, automated system is not gonna pick any of it, right? But as- Yeah, like, for someone, but someone who does not have any experience in this, it mm -hmm. would still be okay because if I'm going to take some courses and if I get certified in certain fields, is that what you're talking about using as skill set on the resume, putting that on there? Uh, so let let be yes uh, and no. So I'm going to clarify that. So let's say uh, you are totally new, right? you you have no clue about like the technical side of cyber security but you still have some soft skills coming into it 
So uh, what you can do is for the security side, just for just to like to have a resume for the security side in terms of knowledge and skill, you can copy blindly. Now, wait, uh, don't quote me, misquote me on that. Copy blindly. So just pick and choose the ones that you like you keep seeing, right? So on the on the uh like on the technical side, if you keep seeing that hey, you should be familiar with GDPR, you should be familiar with CCPA, although you don't know what they are, but you've seen it in like five different job type like job posts, copy those and use it, right? Now, what you're gonna be doing, since you don't know any technical, you don't have any technical background, but you have some soft skills coming into this, right? So you can start building the soft skills side of your resume. So in areas where, uh, I think there was a very good one in the one that we were looking at, where they were talking about a lot of soft skills. Uh, which one was it? The manager, or which one? I think it was this one, right? So for example, with this, everything on here, right? Strong interpersonal skills, uh, strong interpersonal communication and uh, relational skills, good organized, good organizational and project management skills. And so all these, you can start your, uh, if you don't, you are coming from no uh, cybersecurity background, zero, but you still want to build a resume, you can still do it. But then uh, where you're going to make your money coming in with no technical background is uh, for the soft skill side, you make sure uh, you are really hidden at home, right? So with these, you take these uh, one by one and you are going to write out uh, for the jobs that you've done, you know, whatever job that you were doing that you were exhibiting all these skills, you are going to put these on there under those jobs right, and take out the technical uh, knowledge and skills that was needed for that job, take that out and just focus on the soft skills, put those soft skills there first. Right? Okay, thank you. Yes, so you can still build like a really good resume uh, that covers all the soft skills that you are bringing to the table. And then for the technical ones, like I'm saying, just copy blind, uh, blindly, right? If you keep seeing uh, maybe ISO 2701, in the five job posts that you, you saw, put it on there, although you've not done it. Uh, and also for Rainy and for everybody else who is trying to get into some training or some course, if you do this, right, whatever training you want to get into, now you can look at, okay, what are you guys going to teach? If they have the list, at least without you having any cybersecurity uh, knowledge and skill coming into it, you've done your research. So you know that Hey, uh, for all the 10 job posts that was a uh, cybersecurity analyst, I saw that they were looking for somebody with maybe incident response skill sets, right? Uh, somebody with ISO 2701. They needed somebody who knew uh, HIPAA, who knew NIST, uh, somebody who knew how to harden operating systems, whatever that is, <laughs> right? So, so at least for whatever training you are getting yourself into, you can really uh, go through what they are going to teach you and analyze it for yourself, whether you know it's going to be in line with the skill sets that you are trying to get now to make sure you are good for the resume that you've built, right? So uh, it's a plus, right? Any way that you look at it, uh, if you really want to work in this industry, now you are, you are looking at what employers are looking for before you even go and get your training. Right. So when you go, you know what training you are supposed to get. Right. And uh, but for anybody who is not doing this, they are going to get some training and then come back and come and look at this and be like, oh, shoot, you know, everything that they taught me, none of it is on here. Right. So now you have to go look for something else. But for everybody who uh, is privileged to be here today, uh, if you go through five, six, seven, eight of similar job posts. Right. So. Uh, please don't go look at cybersecurity analysts and then go look at cybersecurity architects and go look at cybersecurity engineer elsewhere. Go look at, if you are looking at analysts, just look at analysts, 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 like five, six, seven of them, right? And then pick uh, all the common items that are in almost all of it and put it on your resume, right? On the soft skills portion, I think that should be uh, a home run for everybody right? Everybody has some soft skills coming into it. So if you run into this where 
uh, most because this is and for the managerial positions, they are very heavy on soft skills. So that is why you have like one bullet that talks about like 15 soft skills in a row. Right. And they have one that is just standalone, but is analytical and problem solving skills. Uh, if you have that already, you have some of the skills you are looking for here already. Right. So these are qualifications that you are looking for. So without even looking at the technical side, like I was talking about last week, uh, are you qualified if you have maybe, so how many are they looking for? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say 10, right? If soft skills forms eight, uh, if, if like soft skills is like three or four out of the 10, and this is qualifications that they are looking for. And it's not me saying it. This is what they say they are looking for. So if you have some of it already and you get maybe two or three in terms of the listing, uh, two or three technical uh, cybersecurity skills and knowledge in addition to what you have already. Uh, do you think you are qualified for this or not? You are, right? So uh, now when you come to what you are going to be doing, uh, they are also going to highlight your soft skills as well, right? As, so here, provide provide guidance uh, for employees, uh, explaining security risks, and demonstrating good practices. So although this is looking at some technical aspect of this, but also providing guidance to employees is not just, it's, it's not a technical skill. Uh, you need to have some soft skills to be able to train people or to be even able to mentor people, right? Technical skills does not necessarily make you a mentor or does not necessarily make you like a manager, right? So all those are skills that you are bringing in. So hopefully that helps uh, everyone. Now we are going to jump into uh, how to make it easy, right? Uh, why reinvent the wheel if we have a, a tool that we can use to make it easy, but we looked at how to do it manually for a reason and you see why, right? Tools are only tools. Uh, it's like if you have a, a, like 50 cal machine gun and the operator is no good, right? Whoever is behind it, uh can't aim well and shoot you, know, you might as well not have it right so uh we have all these ai tools out there but if you can't really use it well and even if you use it if you can't polish up the results you are getting to personalize it to make it you know your own and to make it work then it's really of no use right so next uh what we are going to be using is uh the biggest ai tool out there now, right? That's GPT. So uh, there are other AI tools out there that you can use to build your resume. But I think although chat GTP, uh, GPT is not, uh, is not necessarily uh, a resume uh, tool, is a general AI tool that can do almost virtually everything. So uh, let me share my screen and we are going to go through again. All right. So uh, first off, even if you don't have any templates, zero, uh, if you type in, so I'm using chat GPT version four, right? That is the paid version. The free version will give you similar results, right? That is uh, four, uh, three. Uh, so I think I'm not sure if the three, the four is also available on the free version. But anyways, you just go to OpenAI, uh, click on Try Chat EPT, and you should be able to get here. Create an account if you don't have an account. I think we did uh, a cyber chat where we walked through how to uh, use Chat EPT. So let's begin. Now, uh, if you don't have any templates, zero. You can just type in create a cybersecurity analyst template. And what it created is similar to what we showed you for our template. Right? So your name, uh, your address, and everything, LinkedIn, uh, summary, or uh, professional objectives. Uh, you can list this also on there as well. And then the skills, the list. So you can see this is an AI tool because it lists cybersecurity to also on there as skills. It's a cybersecurity resume. So what are you talking about? So, uh, but then it goes ahead and 
it, it does a good job of listing some of these uh, tools on there. So with the skills, if you know, so if you have this, right, if you just have this template and you understood what we just talked about, right, you know where to pick the skills, get the right keywords for the skills and what skills are needed in whatever job you are applying to. Right? So you can go to this job post, pick up keywords and use those here. Right? So although you are going to start off, you know, the AI tool is going to start you off. Uh, this is just to really set the ball rolling, not for you to use this as, you know, uh, the whole truth. And when it comes to job experience, uh, this is the template or the format is giving you, right? So you are going to go through this, right? So uh, you can just copy this and use it as a template. Now for references, you are not, you can put, you know, uh, upon request or you don't have to put anything. If they need it, they are going to reach out uh, to you. Then with certifications, you put them on there. So my little twist to this is, for certifications, mostly don't put the the year that you got it on there, right? Don't put the year that you got it on there. And why is that? So if let's say you had Security Plus, uh, you've had it for three years and you just renewed it uh, this year, if you put 2023 there, looks like you just got it, right? And if you just got it, you don't want to look too much of a newbie. So you have it, if you have it, you have it. Whether you got it yesterday or three days ago or two years ago, you have it. So just, you know, in order to uh, avoid uh, any like prejudice or, or like people looking at it from, you know, like, like a funny standpoint, just take this out. So if you have it, you have it regardless of whenever you got it now with school also uh, i'll say take the years off right uh you don't want to put september uh, 1901 on there for everybody to know you are like 200 years old All right so uh, you just want to put the degree on there the dates you like you have the degree whenever you got it is really not relevant you have it so just take the date out Right. And I hope everybody can agree with me because also if you put, uh, if you got your degree like 50 years ago, it, it, like it makes you look very old. Uh, and it's not like age is gonna be like a hindrance or anything, but uh, you just don't want to put yourself out there. And also if you just got your degree three days ago, you look too new, <laughs> right? right? So you are just coming straight onto the job market, but maybe probably you are a working adult and you just got your degree, right? So that is, in order to save yourself all those uh, little, you know, things that we don't say, but we think about, you know, uh, so the hiring manager is a human being just like you, we all have our biases. So just take this off. You just completed your master's, you completed it. In this school, in this location, that's it, right? When you completed it, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have it, you have it. So if you had a master's degree 50 years ago and I have a master's degree today, it's the same master's degree. Nothing has really changed. It's a master's degree, right? So the dates, let's take the dates off, right? So now let's, so this is just the template. We are going to come up with some skills for everybody to see. So now, like everything that we talked about, right, we are going to come up with the bullets for this uh, job, right? So what we are going to do is, is this. Uh, oh, so uh, Prisma is asking, what if they ask you? Uh, okay, so if they ask you, then obviously you tell them when you really completed school or when you got your certification, right? But before they ask, don't put it on there. Right? If you have it, you have it. Uh, if they want to ask, that's fine. So uh, for those schooled outside, so Leonard, uh, please forgive me. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself reading through some of the questions. Uh, so Ike is, okay. So I think I answered Priscilla already. Uh, Ike is asking, what about putting the dates and the year on the job? So for the job, yes. You have to put the date and the year, right? Put the date and the year on the job, you know, all day. And the location, 
you know, if you want to put that also for the company. So like for that, it is fine, right? Because they, they have to see your work history, where you worked for how long and you move on to the next, right? Now for uh, Leonard, you're asking for those who schooled outside the United States, is it necessary to put the name of the school and the country or just the degree? So yes, put the name of the school, right? And then put the country or like the city where you got the degree from, right? Reason that you do that is if they want to look up the school, it becomes easier, right, for, for them to look out the school. Now, they are not going to do anything with the year, obviously. So that is why you don't put it on there. That way you don't look too old or you don't look too young, right? It's not like if you are old or young, it has anything to do with it. But, you know, people are people. We all have our biases, right? Uh, so don't really, you know, give people that chance. Let them judge you based on what you can do not you know how old or how young or how none of that you are right so if they ask you for the okay randy is don't tell oh don't tell them <laughs> okay don't ask don't tell think what that is what randy is trying to say all right for uh patricia yes when you fill out the application on the job they ask for the date you graduated and uh, will that be a problem if you don't? No, so if they ask you for the date that you graduated, if you are filling the application form, if that is uh, a required space, mostly not everything on the application is like a required item, right? The ones that are required, if you don't fill them in and you try to submit, it's gonna let you know, hey, you have to fill this in. For the years that you completed school and the rest, mostly those are not required. So you can put the school, the degree, the type of degree you had, maybe the city or whatnot on there, and then you just submit without the years, right? So then that is not really going to add to or take from your application. Uh, and Danny is asking, do you know what company that will be paying for the cybersecurity training? Uh, I'm not really sure what you're asking. What company will be paying for the cybersecurity training? I'm not really sure what you're asking, Danny, but we'll get to that. So now let's jump into how to use AI to create your cybersecurity resume, right? So we looked at the manual way of doing it. Uh, it might sound a bit tedious and difficult, but AI is going to make it easier for everyone. So this is what we are going to be doing. Now with the qualifications, right, we are just going to pick maybe the first four, let's pick just the first uh, one, two, three, four, right? The first four. Then we are going to copy the first four, uh, go straight into our AI and guess what we are going to be doing. Uh, so we ch uh, chat GPT, we are going to say create uh, cybersecurity resume uh, bullets from the following. Right, you can probably put some, and then we are just going to have uh, paste what we just copied, right? And let's see what it's going to come up with. So based on based on uh, what we fed it with, right? Based on uh, the information we fed the AI with, it gave us these bullets. So prove, uh, proving expertise in numerous information security, uh, security and IT risk management areas, including networking, blah, blah, blah. So you can see that this is very generic, right? This is very generic. Everything that is on here, uh, developed and managed a network, yeah, 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 this is very generic. So guess what we are going to be doing? Uh, we can ask it to uh, create resume, uh, create resume bullets that are more uh, hands-on. You can say hands-on. You can put anything. Or uh, not that, not that are more hands-on. That demonstrates. my uh,
know, without posting uh, what was previously listed. All right, so guess what? Uh, with this new uh, request, see, I didn't post the original uh, write up on there from the page, right? But it just gave me the answer based on this still, right? And so this is, it is making it more practical now. So uh, orchestrated a comprehensive uh, revamp of the network security infrastructure, deploying state-of-the-art firewall and intrusion detection, right? So you see that this bullet and this, which one is more powerful? Obviously this one, because this one is demonstrating your uh, hands-on uh, abilities. So that is what you want to showcase, right? Something that is practical, not too generic. And even with this, right, we can still polish it up and. Uh, refine it more, right? So we can either regenerate our response. So mostly what it does is with the regeneration, it's going to try to, you know, come up with something better than it, it did previously, right? And it's going to ask us, is it good enough or uh, is it better than the first one? Uh, so is it better or worse or same? Or I'll say same, you know, to challenge it more. And then I'll have it generate another one. So this is more summarized, right? Spearheaded uh, hands-on networking uh, security initiative, implementing advanced protection, measure, uh, protection measures and successfully mitigated, uh, mitigating potential threats, right? So although this, uh, this also is a good bullet, uh, so I can, I can pick some from this. I can pick some from the first response, right? I can pick some from the second, uh, from the first and second response, right? So then I'm, I'm like mixing them up, right? Uh, so even with this, let's say I will pick uh, two of these. I'll copy and paste them on here. Uh, I'll pick, I'll go to the next one and pick uh, maybe three of these. I'll come back and paste it down here. And then on the top, I can say, uh, summarize. There is a maple that's below. and highlight highlight okay uh, highlight uh, my hands on so this is going to be the command and then i'm just going to hit enter now I've taken what it has given me already, right? And I'm going to get a summary of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just refining and refining. Uh, and in so doing, it is taking away most of the kind of the AI uh, twist and verbiage to it, right? Uh, so this is going, this can be the summary for, like you saw, like the summary portion of the resume. Everything that I have or that I gave it, it is giving me this summary. So a highly skilled cybersecurity professional with extensive hands-on experience in numerous areas of cybersecurity uh, expertise, including 24-7 security operation uh, center, showcasing ability to configure SIM tools, implement. So this is a very good uh, summary, right? And this is, nobody has this summary, verbiage. Nobody has this verbiage but you. Even if somebody is using AI or somebody is using chat, a GPT elsewhere, they are not going to get this. You know why? Because you took this from a job posting. Uh, you made the app spit out different uh, uh, 
uh, like bullets, and then you use the bullets to come up with this summary. So this, uh, nobody is gonna have this, right? And everybody on here can create their own and have a unique uh, verbiage and a unique, without necessarily copying uh, your template from anybody, right? So you can get the template in terms of the format, but the content, you can create a content that is totally uh, out of whatever, uh, like totally different and very powerful than whatever everybody else is using, right? So uh, this is your summary right here. Now we have a lot of bullets on here. Now let's continue. We are going to now look at some soft skills, uh, pick these two soft skills that they had on here, uh, and then still try and do some demonstration with that one. So we are also going to uh, give it the same instructions, or like sometimes you can even give it like a backstory, right? Uh, so let's say Dr. Edu is new, uh, is starting a cybersecurity career, right? Uh, he has some Transferable should be two hours. Transferable skills. Uh, use the details below to create a cybersecurity resume bullets. So um, it's kind of uh, redundant, but as I'm cybersecurity uh, to create cybersecurity resume bullets. Based on his, uh, based on his exceptional soft skills, I need to uh, copy and paste my bullets on there. All right, so we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, I think almost seven uh, bullets out of the two that we just posted. So uh, leverage, strong analytical and problem solving. So you see how it is picking the keywords, right? Strong analytical and problem solving skills to identify, diagnose and mitigate cyber security risks and threats, ensuring the integrity uh, and security of organizational data and systems, which this is a really good bullet. Uh, utilize strong interpersonal skills to effectively collaborate with diverse teams of profession, diverse team of professionals, facilitating uh, knowledge sharing and contributing to effective security solutions. This is also a very good bullet. Now uh, let's go on. So the next one, apply the exceptional project management skills to contribute, to coordinate and oversee the timely completion of cybersecurity initiative, optimizing resources, re resources and ensuring alignment with organizational goals and standards. This is also a very good bullet. Okay, so like all these bullets that were given was good, but guess what? They are not good enough. So we are going to generate a new uh, write-up. And once it's done, we are going to challenge AI. So guess what we are going to do? This is worse than the first one, even if it's, even if it's better than the first one. And guess what we are going to do? We are going to regenerate the response again. So now it has it is like refining, refining it, refining it. Uh, we can regenerate again. And if it asks us for our input, we will say it is still worse uh, just to challenge it, right? Please hold on.
So now uh, we have some good bullets. Uh, like the first one was good, uh, but it has refined it, refined it, refined it. So as, as it is refining it uh, or refining it, right, uh, regenerating more response, we can pick and choose from uh, the ones that it has generated previously. So we don't have to use the same uh, ones from the same, uh, like from the same response, right? So we can pick from different uh, ones that were generated and then just use it, right? So all these are really, really good bullets. So for uh, the soft skill side, this is what we are also going to do on it and get some really good bullets out of this. Right? And uh, you can see how it uses how it uses uh, the keywords, right? How it uses the keywords from what we will give it to uh, come up with that response. Uh, so let me just look at some of these questions real quick. And uh, Dr. Edu, all the response has not anything. Okay, so I'm not really sure about your uh, Question, Ike. And uh, there's another question on here. Uluyumi. Uh, so can can a person have more than one resume? Uh, say a different one for DevOps, another one for Service Ready, or another one for uh, Security Manager, another one for PCI. Yes, of course, you can have as many resumes as you want. But make sure you are using the right one to apply for the right job, right? Uh, even within, even for cybersecurity resumes, mostly what I advise everybody is, uh, for you for your resume to be very effective, right? You have to uh, stay away from having one big generalized uh, resume for everything, right? So even within cybersecurity, you can have a master resume, right? And then you can have one. If you are really serious about applying for jobs and you want a job really quick, you can have one for if security analyst job titles. So security analyst job titles, you can have one security analyst uh, resume. So that will cover information security analyst, rigs uh, analyst, uh, information assurance analyst. So all those, the analyst group, you have one resume and uh, you are going to pick and choose at least five to, you know, five plus resumes combine them, come up with a bullet like this and use that on that resume, right? And as you are applying for the jobs, uh, you're also going to tailor your resume still. But if you, are you, if you are doing what we are doing right now to come up with your resume for, if it's security analyst, like the analyst space, you can do one. If it's for purely GRC specialist, you can do one for purely GRC. So that way, you are going to really beef it up because mind you for your resume, uh, the maximum that in terms of uh, number of pages, at least on the two pages, you cannot, you know, you, you cannot really uh, put everything on there to demonstrate your GRC skill sets, your analyst skill sets, your managerial skill sets, right? So if you are really serious about this, you have one for each category, right? So if for all analyst jobs, I'll do my research, pick up, you know, what they are looking for in the analyst jobs, and I'm going to generate the bullets out of it, right? For uh, security managers, security, information security manager, uh, information assurance manager, information, all those manager roles, you are also going to combine all of them, come up with a resume for it, right? Uh, for all maybe, uh, so for your security specialist and all that, it will fall under the analyst because what you are doing is pretty much you are doing exactly the same thing analyst doing. If you are focusing on you want to just do DevOps, which you know, when you DevOps is not cyber security, but if you want to do DevOps, you can use the same strategy, right? Whatever you know role that you are looking for, you can use the same strategy. Go out there, search for job posts for that you know job roles you are looking for. Combine at least uh, five of the job postings. You know, you follow the exact steps of what we are doing and come up with the bullets. And it's just a matter of you reading through and, you know, picking the ones that you like and using those, right? 
So I think there are still some questions in here. So Ike is saying uh, all the responses you've shown uh, has hands on on it. My question is, is it okay? Uh, is it okay to mention hands on on the resume? So uh, when we say hands on, right? What I'm just trying to say is uh, something that is practical, something that you did, right? So uh, instead of saying I'm skilled in uh, I'm skilled in implementing multi-factor authentication. Uh, it should sound like, or you should say it as uh, implemented. So not I, but uh, implemented or supervised implementation of. So it's like make something you've done, like you are reporting what you've done. Not don't go into the space of I can do it or I have skills in it. Uh, re report something you've done, right? So example here. Uh, because for the for the AI tool we are using, uh, we initially put in there that we want to demonstrate uh, our hands-on skills. That is why the bullets is giving us is reporting something we've done. So utilize strong interpersonal skills to effectively, you know, collaborate. So it's not uh, I have good interpersonal communication skills, but we are reporting how we use it to do something. And mostly, this is going to follow the STAR method. Uh, it will give you uh, situation tax action results. So utilize these skill sets to do something, to take an action. And what was the result? Uh, the result was that there was an effective cybersecurity solution. Right. So hopefully, uh, this is clear to everybody. So how, uh, John is asking, how do you use chat G GPT uh, writing? Okay, I think something kicked that up. Writing resume to synchronize uh, ATS acceptance. and Okay, so uh, collaboration all the time. So uh, with automated uh, system picking up uh, on your resume, right? Uh, I hope that is what you're asking, John. Yes, that's what I'm asking. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, so uh, that is the reason. So I'm just going to uh, br break that down. So that, the reason how your resume is going to get picked up by the automated system is if you have the right keywords. Right. And the exercise we are doing today is showing you how to easily get the keywords and the right verbiage in your resume. Right. So uh, what we are doing, what we were doing, uh, what we are doing, the intent is we want to build a strong uh, resume for specific groups of jobs, right? So if you are looking at uh, all analyst jobs, we are going to pick five more than five plus uh, uh, job posts, and then we are going to combine qualifications and responsibilities in those job posts, create the resume out of that then because we are using the job post already we are picking the keywords that is going to help uh, or that is going to uh, make our resume uh, probably the first choice in any uh, automated uh, resume pickup system right now when you are applying for the jobs you can even tailor it more so let's say we use our uh, we use everything that we are we are learning today to create the resume. Now, when we are applying for a specific job, what we can do is uh, look at that job description, follow the same procedure of what we did, uh, and identify any uh, any other things that will be uh, in terms of like qualifications and what you are going to be doing. Uh, anything that we missed on the master resume that we just created. We are going to go the same way, create bullets and add it to it and add some of the keywords to the skills portion of the resume that we have and use that to apply for the job. And if you don't get a hit on that, uh, come back, I'll give you 50 bucks. And you're going to walk me through exactly what you did. And I'm going to like, there is no way you're not going to get a hit. Right. What we are going through, if you do this and you do it well, uh, even if you don't do it well and you just follow everything that we did, just, just do the bare minimum 
you are going to get hits all the time, right? So for anybody on here who has not been getting hits, uh, they are just moving on and saying, sorry, uh, we just have to continue with somebody else is because you are missing a lot of keywords, right? And this is how uh, you get the right, the right verbiage and the right keywords, okay? So uh, for, I think for uh, what we wanted to demonstrate today, uh, we, are, we are almost done because everything else, I think everybody can do. It's just a matter of just re repeating what we've just done, right? So we are going to open the floor for questions. Uh, are there any questions on this before we wrap it up? And I know everybody here has used chat, GPT. Uh, if you haven't, like you haven't tried your hands on it, please do. Uh, so let me get back to some of the questions on here. Uh, so I think Ike, we answered Ike's. So uh, Fabi is asking, do you recommend people who say that, uh, who say they created professional, uh, who say they create professional resumes? So for uh, folks who say they, they create professional resumes, uh i think you do a better job right coming up with a master resume on your own than anybody who says they they will create a professional resume for you uh, example those people most of them are also using ai tools right so look at what uh, uh chat gpt gave us when we typed in a hey, create a cybersecurity analyst resume for me so just give you generic stuff right some most of which are not demonstrating how you did or how you use the skills and knowledge you are trying to sell to uh, your potential employer, right? So mostly it's easy for somebody to just do it and pay them and get it. But if you really want one that is effective, you have to do it yourself, right? You have to do it yourself. Frankly, you have to do it yourself. Nobody can do it better than you. And with now you have the skill, like everything that you need, you've been given, like it has been given to you today. So uh, just go ahead and do it on your own. The templates and everything, you've seen it, right? How to go about it, uh, you've seen it. So there is, if you leave it to somebody else to do it, they are not going to, like you are going to get something, but it's not going to be as effective. It's just getting like a resume template from your friend and just using that to apply for security jobs everywhere. You are not going to get hits. Right, and just going to lead into frustration. So do it yourself. There is nothing like a professional re professional resume is what you built yourself, and you took the time to really go through and look at what employers are looking for, and you made sure you have that on your resume. Right, at the end of the day, that is what is going to get you the job. Right, because like, what is a professional resume, anyways? Is a resume that can get you the job? Forget about names and you know, cool names, like professional resume. If it can get you a job, uh, I don't see the professional resume in it, right? So, uh, and the next one is where to get AI website. So go to open it. So for this purpose, uh, I will say everybody should just use chat uh, GPT, right? And now you know how to do the manual way. Also using chat GPT, it's only a tool helping you to still do it the manual way. There are some apps or there are some website on there that will create the resume for you. So you just go there, put in your name, your address, it will ask you for your school, your certifications. You put all that in and it will ask you the job title you are applying uh, to, and then it will generate some of the bullets for you. Those bullets that it's generating is generic and very weak. It doesn't have the keywords in it. So that, you know, those templates, you can only use them as like a template that you are going to fill in yourself with the proper uh, verbiage and the proper, uh, uh, like the proper list of uh, items that you have to put on there, right? So like that is what I'm saying. Uh, really the link between what employers are looking for in terms of job posts and you getting a resume that really represents almost everything they are looking for no AI can do it. The missing link in there is you, right? So you have to use AI to generate the bullets 
then know where to put them to do like the summary and know how to combine even challenge AI to bring out a better summary and put it on there. Still being cautious that it is, you know, uh, incorporating all the keywords, right? So if you want to go the lazy man approach of just having some, some website create everything for you and you just going to copy and paste blindly, uh, you are not going to get it, right? So if you want something that is, uh, you are going to put in the time and effort to create and it's going to be very effective, then do what we are doing. Just stick with chat GPT. I think I've tried other AI tools out there. For resume, this is the best. Uh, even the ones that are dedicated resume builders, uh, I think have, almost all of them are bogus. They are only going to generate generic uh you know uh things for you and if you use those they are not effective because they are just generic and you are not going to get hits when you apply for jobs right and maybe they might have a few keywords here and there but still uh, if you want to really go the route of what is going to work and make you effective uh, then go this route right it sounds like a lot of work and it is but nothing comes easy so if you really want this then uh, you have to get it the hard way, right? And in doing that, you are also learning the job market because now you are getting to learn or getting to know exactly what employers are looking for in terms of qualification and what exactly you're also going to do, right? So in your own preparation uh, for a career in cybersecurity, now you, you, you know exactly what they are looking for. So if you've not already gone through training or even if you are in training, you can assess or analyze what you are being taught and compare it with what they want. You know, if the gap is too wide, then advise yourself, right? So uh, regardless, even if Dr. Edu is training you and what I'm training you on and what they are looking for, if you've looked at 10 job descriptions and they are like day and night, uh, advise yourself, right? So let Dr. Edu know hey, what you are telling us is, I don't think it's going to get me what I'm looking for. So, uh, and I can say that because I know what I'm, I'm teaching you is what they are looking for. So, all right, now let's look at some of the questions. And then lastly, we will let uh, Julius ask your question. So we looked at Patrick's, uh, we looked at Victoria, uh, Danny. Uh, we looked at Ike, Bobby. Uh, okay, and uh, where are AI tools? Could you please display the link for the AI? Okay, that we are using for this meeting so we can uh, use them to practice at this meeting. Okay, so with, with this one, uh, I, I can probably post the link in there, but it's, if you go to open open AI and you, you go, like you scroll all the way to the bottom, I think even in the mid page, you can see try chat GPT. Uh, how do you use chat GPT writing resume to sync? Okay, so we've answered that already. Uh, this is so cutting edge. Thanks so much for revealing valuable search hacks. Uh, time saving techniques I didn't know existed. So uh, thank you. Okay, uh, Karen, you're welcome. Uh, you know, this also is it advisable to include certifications such as agile project management, et cetera, uh, results or just restricted to cyber security? No, no. So, uh, Leonard, you saw that in one of the job posts, they were actually, as part of the qualifications, they were looking for project management uh, qualifications as well, right? So, project management plays uh, a key role in cybersecurity, a very, you know, big key role. So, uh, if you have project management, please do add it to your skill sets. If you have certifications, add it as well. Uh, what is the best way then to search for? GRC jobs. So Isaac, I think uh, you have it here in your question. Uh, for GRC jobs, mostly type in GRC jobs and or just GRC is going to pull up a lot of GRC jobs. So your GRC <laughs> analyst, right? Uh, so uh, Victoria says, uh, I have not tried, but yet willing to, okay. Uh, learning, okay. Okay, great. So we've been through all that. Uh, Julius, please go ahead and ask your question and we are going to wrap it up for tonight. 
Okay, Doctor, thank you for, for giving me this opportunity. Yes, I just wanted to find out you were talking about the different uh, domains. Uh, let me put it that way. Like as, as cyber analyst, like when you want to create resumes, you should uh, kind of uh, uh, divide them into different different uh, domains. Like say cybersecurity analyst. Uh, so I was wondering. I mean, you, you answered part of it you're talking about GRC because I was wondering if you could also set up a, a resume for IT auditing, uh, G, uh, GRC. And then, and then, so uh, my concern was with PCI DSS. Can you set up a resume specifically for PCI DSS? Yes, uh, actually for our PCI uh, students, we have PCI uh, resume, specifically PCI. Okay. Yeah, and you can use uh, the same technique that I just showed you to create PCI uh, resumes as well. So uh, now you are going to look for PCI jobs Combine okay. five to maybe 10 of those, come up with the bullets and then also the summary and everything. Right. Okay. Okay. And that goes that goes as well for for, for GRC and the IT audit. Yes. So GRC, okay. IT audit, name it, uh, penetration tester, like whatever. The same formula works. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. All right, everyone, I think we are about to wrap it up uh, for tonight. So without uh, any more questions, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody's time. Uh, I appreciate and I hope everybody uh, is taking something out of uh, what we just went through. So uh, for our students, uh, we are going to continue to do our job placement with you and polish up for non-students. Uh, if you want to get some more uh, hands-on uh, and uh, some of the tricks and tips to the trade, uh, we are always open. You can join us at arithmetsacademy.com. Uh, and for everybody else, I appreciate you spending the time uh, as usual every Friday night with us. And like we always do, we promise we're going to give you some great insights uh, into which is going to help develop you uh, into the best cybersecurity professional you can ever be. Uh, thank you and have a great weekend. We are going to meet next week again for another edition of Cyber Chats. Good night, everyone. Hey, Dr. Adu. Good night. Dr. Adu? Yes, John, go ahead. When are you? When are you posting this uh, uh, today video? Post it tonight. Uh, so if you go to YouTube, we we have it. We're streaming it, so the raw footage okay. is going to be on there. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Great, great class. Right. Thank you, Doctor Adu. Yes, I go ahead. We're meeting. Uh, what time tomorrow? Same time, nine. Yeah. So so same time. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Good night. Karen, go ahead. Good night. Hi, Dr. Du. I was just wondering if you were still doing the paid on the job training. Uh, I watched yeah. your YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. So the internship plus workshop, yes, we are still doing that. How do I get information, sir? Uh, so either on our website or you can uh, shoot us an email uh, at either service at arithmetics.com or david at arithmetics.com. Okay, you'll get one from me today. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, you you're welcome. All right, you too. All right, everyone. Have a great night.